Bro, I almost got yeah, busted by undercover every... cops in a fucking party. Like some shit that I thought only existed in like movies. No, that shit was crazy. Dude, I was at this party and no one was there yet. I got gotten there like kind of early. I was with my friend. And we fucking were there and there was like the girl whose party it was. And then like her friends. And like there was like these like three like older middle-aged dudes. And I was like playing beer pong with like my friend. And fucking... Uh, I assumed that these middle-aged people were, like, the girl's, like, older brother or, like, uncles or something. And I'm just sitting there just kind of talking or whatever. So I was kind of like, hey, like, what's y'all's story? Like, do you, know, like, you guys live here or what? And the dude was like, ha-ha, like, nah, like, I'm an undercover cop. And I was like, ha-ha-ha. Like, imagine. Like, and he's like, no, like, seriously, I'm an undercover cop. And like fucking like held his like badge out, and I was like, I didn't even. It was hard to process. I was like, I was like, what? Like you're taking the joke too far, man. Like, but nah, he really was. And I had a fucking uh. So dude, I actually had bought in a bottle of Fireball that I kept in my car that was gonna like break out later in the night, like when like alcohol was getting low. So all of a sudden I like came back in, like I had like just gotten some alcohol, like on some clout shit, and fucking uh. No, that's the kind of movies you gotta make back then, dude. And, bro, they had, like, all this beer and, like, four bottles of, like, large bottles of Sky Vodka that they fucking made me and my friend fucking pour out. It wasn't even my shit, dude. And, like, I had to dump all that shit out, and I was like, wow, this is a waste. Like, I almost wanted to fucking stick my head under there, dude. But I was like, I'm not gonna push it. The undercover cops did this? Yes, So how did it go down? They were just like... Bro... It went down like I just said, dude. I was playing beer pong, bro, with my friend. It was friend. only like y'all, the girls, and them. Dude, yes, bro. It was me, and fucking Davion, who watches the Cream Pod, bro. It was us two, bro, playing beer pong. We went down to Moore, bro, like in Westmore area, bro. Uh, the cops were sitting there, like chatting. They had like red solo cups in their hands, which I guess were just fucking decoys, like looking back. And I was like, "What's up with y'all?" Like. Are you like somebody's brother or like fucking like you live here like and they were like ha 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 like no like I'm an undercover cop and I was like ha 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 and he was like nah like fucking for real though and like pulled out a badge and I was like yeah y'all gotta clean this shit up but dude it's before everybody got there that shit was about to be lit dude like we came early dude so these cops set up a fake party no, it was a real party with a girl that you know too, bro. But they had gotten word of it, showed up, bro. This dumb bitch wasn't like, who are you guys? She let him hang out in the house, bro. And it, back before even anybody showed up, bro, they were wearing like shit like they were about, to, they're like they're in fucking Nickelback or something, bro. They looked so out of place. It was crazy, dude. Like they're wearing like a fucking 35-year-old dude like idea of what a cool thing to wear at a party is, bro. Yeah, that's fucking retarded. And I was that's why I was like, what's y'all's deal? Like for like who are you guys? Like and but no, this dumb bitch and her friends were just like, like I guess they're here and like they're ugly, like gross. Like I'm not gonna talk to them. Like I think that was like their vibe. And uh Yeah. But no, but they told me the area that we were in, Westmore, they were like, dude, like ragers have like every weekend, like so many parties we have to break up. Like it's a problem. Like the partying at Westmore High School is out of control. That's what they said to me, dude. I was like, dude, I gotta start coming out of fucking Westmore. (laughs) (laughs) Can it be that big of a deal? I was like, we party pretty hard in Edmond, dude, but I was like if the cops are like, Jesus Christ, like dude. If that's the city's biggest problem, so that they're allocating that many like resources to high schoolers partying, I don't. I think Moore's biggest problem. It's a pretty is safe area. Tornadoes, I believe. Oh, well, you know <laughs> what I mean. Problem <laughs> Their biggest problem is tornadoes. But yeah, I guess their second biggest. Yeah, you can't yeah, arrest you a tornado. You know exactly what I mean. Yeah. It's making it silly. <laughs> you can't arrest a tornado, dude. You can get uh, <laughs> you could. what's his name, uh, Pecos Bill or Wild Bill. Or <laughs> Pecos Bill. Yeah, yeah he, he wrangles up tornadoes. I think he's passed away though. Him and his rope. I've always thought about this, bro. Like, if you like had like lost your dog or something, like you're like, oh no, like Sparky, 
and it's like flying up in the tornado you're like in like a field or something could you potentially like ah oh, like fuck it and like jump in the tornado <laughs> no. and then like retrieve your dog and ride it back no. it spins i no. think but like what the fuck would happen to you would you just I think fly you just get flung. Or you it get would stuck either in the be one or two you would either go with the dog because there was enough wind to take you with it or you would not be able to go with the dog because there wasn't enough wind to take you but like but enough j- to take the dog but the dog was like barely in range so it was like weaker but you like jump into the tornado you might get stuck so in the middle and suffocate shit and debris would be going on you probably wouldn't even notice that the dog got swept up you wouldn't be able to see anything yeah. that would suck to actually get sucked up in a tornado you'd be like what the fuck <laughs> like I'm yeah. in a tornado <laughs> you'd probably just <coughs> you could survive depending on where you landed no. Nah. Dude, how many people actually get sucked up by tornadoes? Because I know tornadoes kill people, and it's usually because shit falls on them, or like debris hits them. I think that's like all of them, yeah. But like, dude, who actually gets sucked <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. Like Wizard of Oz or some yeah. bullshit. Yeah, he fucking landed in a There's fictional be fucking some stories town. About it. There's gotta be someone who's gotten sucked up and lived. Oh hell yeah! Out there for probably sure. There's probably a lot of people in Oklahoma that have claimed that that's happened. You think there's tornado stories? Yes. Tornado mythic stories. Some motherfuckers talk about tornado nights like they served in a war, dude. Yeah. Our fucking power went out last night. Dude. Yeah, that was bullshit. for like no, four hours. No, we had a crazy hours? story last night. Our storm. No, it was out for like six hours. This thing came on at like four. Cause I woke up when it came on too. I was like fucking hot as fuck because the AC Shut obviously was Xbox. out. Mid-game. That's what I'm, dude. I, my phone was like about to die. My laptop was dead and my phone was about to die, dude. And I was like, fuck, I wish I had charged. I was thinking about charging my phone earlier, but I was like, eh, like, fuck it. It wasn't matter. And then, so I had to charge that shit in my car. I had like left it out there. I almost just shut the fucking garage, dude. And I was like, there's no power. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. 